I was just sitting down this morning and really just reflecting on my relationship with different people like honestly just like my friendships in general and i've noticed such a huge shift for me where i finally feel myself being really able to connect with people because y'all know if y'all watch my channel like i was going so inward and i was so deep in my spiritual journey that it was very like isolating and it felt very kind of lonely and so i feel like i'm finally at a place now where it's like i really feel myself connecting with my community and it feels really amazing to be able to like talk to people and feel like i can connect with them so i really just want to share with you guys some like tips on how to make friends and maybe maintain friendships after you go through a spiritual awakening and let me just preface this by saying that i don't think one is better than the other i don't think you being extroverted or outgoing with a community of people is better than you being by yourself i think we all need different periods in our lives where we're more by ourselves where we're going more inward where we spend a lot more time alone and i think we also need periods where we are more extroverted we do have more not even extroverted but we do have more relationships with people and we're spending more time with people because both things are beneficial to our growth. All of our journeys look different, and at different times, we're all gonna be leaning into one or the other. Maybe we're more in the middle, maybe we have more balance, but I think for a lot of people, because they're going through a spiritual awakening right now, and you're maybe currently healing, and you're spending a lot of time alone, you're feeling bad about it. Like, damn, I really need to go out and make more friends. I really, I, I need to have more of a community. And yes, if you feel like you need that, then go get it. But don't feel like because you're seeing other people do it, that you need to be doing it too because you really may be in a period where you need to be spending time alone. Just because you've been convinced that one is more productive to your healing than the other doesn't mean that it's true. Let go of that narrative because I promise you, as soon as you accept that, it's going to make it a lot easier for you to kind of flow into whatever period you're supposed to be in next. That being said, if you do really find yourself being called to make more friends and to spend more time with people and connect again with the community, my first tip is to really look at yourself and look at your spiritual ego. I feel like what usually happens when we wake up is we look for friends, we look for people in our lives who are more like us, who speak the same kind of language as us, who recognize that we live in a matrix, that there is so much healing for the world to do, that all that we need to really do at the end of the day is come back to love and come back to who we are. We're looking for people who we can connect with in that way. And I think, yes, you definitely should have some people in your life who are like that. But I think what usually happens is we isolate ourselves from other people who don't speak that language, who don't, who are not awake, who are not aware of what's going on. We feel like we can't connect with them. So therefore we kind of shut ourselves out from those relationships. We feel like we can't be around them because they don't get it. They don't get us. They're not productive to our growing and our healing X, Y, and Z. But I think that point of view honestly is more of a spiritual ego thing. It's not really true because again, your role here is to love. And loving is again, accepting other people, other things, for who they are. So if you want to learn to evolve as a being and grow spiritually, I think it's really useful to have friendships, have people in your life. Oh my God, sorry, I'm like choking. Um, have people in your life who don't speak that same language as you, if that makes sense. There's people who live more in the 3D and there's people who live more in the 5D, but you're put on this earth as a 3D person to experience this earthly existence. It's not just to live in that spiritual realm 24 seven. So for me, my biggest shift in being able to make relationships with people after I went through a spiritual awakening was allowing myself to exist in all of these different layers. I don't just have to be in this 5d mode 24 7 and your idea that you do need to be in that mode 24 7 that you need to surround yourself with people who are also in that mode that idea is again ego to still be a light being who's up in 5d and who comes down and helps and just spreads love in the 3d in order for us to do that we have to be able to exist on all these different playing fields and that includes having people in our lives who are in also all these different playing fields and again it's also recognizing that this field is not better than or more superior to or it doesn't make you a better person or a more evolved person. That egoic way of spiritual thinking honestly comes from religion. We naturally, without even realizing it, begin to believe that once we awaken that we are better than those who are not awakened and that we have to go out and save those people who are awakened and we have to only surround ourselves with people who are awakened. That's the same exact thinking that we grew up thinking in the church. So first, First, like first step to being able to make and maintain relationships once you awaken, don't limit yourself to only being friends with or having relationships with people who are awake.
or who speak that same kind of language as you. And when I say language, and this kind of shifts me into my next point, when I say language, I mean in terms of like esoteric speaking. A lot of times when people kind of break out the matrix and they become awake, their way of speaking about the world is totally different than someone who is more caught up in the matrix and who doesn't really think about things in the same way. So we speak these different languages when in reality, when you really think about it, a lot of times people are talking about the same thing. So what I try to do when I'm looking for friends, I look for people who have that same alignment to values as me and more than anything who have alignment to love you may have a friend who doesn't do the same spiritual practices as you they don't speak the same kind of language as you but they are constantly reminding you how to accept other people as they are how to be kind to people there may be a giving person they have these qualities that you see within them that are love even if they don't see the world or they don't see the matrix the same way you do X, Y, and Z, everyone has different aspects within themselves that can bring you back to love. So look for that in friendships. Instead of looking for people who connect to source the same way that you do, make friends who are into different things than you, make friends who are who look differently than you, who have different financial statuses as you. Even make friends, if you so dare, who have different political views as you. Like obviously there's a boundary. Like I don't want like racist homophobic friends. Like, sorry, I just don't see that energy really being beneficial to me. When you open yourself up to different kinds of people, your capacity for love grows exponentially. You learn to see love, you learn to see source energy in every single person around you. Even when you're walking down the street and someone looks completely like they're in a different world than you, you'll still be able to look at them and see yourself within them. And that's kind of my next, I guess, big point is to start seeing yourself in all people. All, like literally a spiritual awakening is realizing that we are all connected. Everyone just is you in different forms. If you're struggling to connect with people, look at yourself. Look at where you see that resistance. What are you focusing on in conversations with people that is making you or convincing you to think that you are separate from them? If you're having all these realizations about the world and the matrix and you're breaking free and it feels very crazy and you're having a conversation with someone who does not realize those things and that frustrates you, sit down and ask yourself, what about that frustrates you? Like what about that person's point of view is causing resistance within you? And what about that person's point of view can you kind of flip your perspective and look at and think, oh, this is what I'm learning about myself from this person. Not everyone has to be your friend. You don't have to connect with every single person. That's just not how the world works. But really learn to open yourself up to, again, different perspectives, different views, and learn to just be open to interacting with people. We often isolate ourselves and separate ourselves off when we're out in public. We don't wanna greet people. We don't know how to say hi. We don't know how to talk to people like on the elevator. Like I really used to struggle with that a lot. Learn to, again, look at the people who are passing you by on the street and instead of separating yourself and isolating yourself and boxing yourself off from them energetically, open up your energy, learn to again, look at everything around you and see yourself in it. And I promise you, you will start attracting really positive and exciting interactions that you, that you actually enjoy. And then you will also start therefore attracting friendships and communities of people that you really enjoy as well. Because then you will be able to open yourself up to, again, not only just a conversation, but then maybe asking them to hang out later or asking them for their Instagram or asking them to connect or, you know, whatever. Like it, it becomes easier to make friends once you start opening yourself up. But then also once you start honoring how you feel in the moment, if you're not in the mood to socialize, if you're not in the mood to connect with other people, if you do feel more isolated, again, sit in that and be okay with that. I have some days where I, I just told my friends today actually I was like I don't want to see anyone today I'm sorry I've been seeing people for the past week which has been fun and exciting but it's also been really draining and now I need time to be alone this weekend so honor how you feel embrace that come back to the fact that that is okay but when you are ready to again open yourself up to other people it's really just a matter of you making a shift I know I'm making it sound a lot easier than it is, but it's because it comes down to you accepting how you feel in the moment and then you making a choice of what energy you want to open yourself up to. And if you need to, again, look at yourself, look at your spiritual ego and challenge yourself to open yourself up to new and different energies if you feel comfortable doing it. And again, if you don't, that's okay too. I know at times it can just be really, really hard, but it's okay. I promise you wherever you're at right now, you're doing an amazing job. And of course you guys know, you guys always have this online community here too. If you ever want to connect with people like online as well. So 
yeah, that's just kind of what I've been thinking about and realizing. I hope you guys are having an amazing week and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.